All right, hey everybody, I'm gonna do notes on angle addition postulate. So here we go. Angle addition postulate is very similar to segment addition postulate where um, we have, you know, three collinear points, um, a part plus a part is equal to the whole thing. So say D is inside this angle A, um, <clears throat> ABC here. So it doesn't cut it equally. It just cuts the angle into two parts. So we can say angle ABD plus angle DBC is equal to the whole angle ABC. Okay? So it's just saying this portion of the angle plus this portion of the angle is equal to the whole angle, which makes sense, right? We learned that with segments. So now we're just applying it to angles. So for number one, ABD is 48. DBC is 78, so 48 plus 78 is equal to 126. All right, now likewise, if we did the second one, we have DBC is 74, and the whole angle ABC is 119. So we're taking that whole angle of 119, and we are subtracting 74 from it, and we get 45. <clears throat> Next problem, we're dealing with algebra. So we're saying PQR, so the whole angle here is 141. So we're just saying this part, 13x plus 4 plus 10x minus 1 is equal to 141. And then we're solving that for x. Then we're just plugging x into PQS, which is 13 times 6 plus 4, which is 82, and 10 times 6 minus 1, which is 59. Oops, sorry, it always says that to me. All right, now sometimes you're not going to have the, um, the diagram that's specifically told to you. It's going to be a lot of the words up here. So DEF is the whole angle. So once you know it's the whole angle, that's what both of the other ones are going to be equal to. So DEF is the whole angle. So 7x plus 4 is equal to DEG, which is 5x plus 1, and GEF, which is that part portion, which is 23. Solving it for x. Sorry. I did that right. Sorry. So DEG, you're just plugging into DEG here. So 5 times 10 plus 1 is 51. And um, DEF, so 7 times 10 plus 4 is 74. JKM is 43. KM. MKL is 8x minus 20, and the whole angle is 10x minus 11. So 10x minus 11 is equal to 43 plus 8x minus 20. And then we're solving that for x. So MKL, so 8 times 17 minus 20, is 116 and JKL 10 times 17 minus 11 is 159. All right. So last lesson you know you learned led the language of what a straight line is. A straight line is a line that is 180 degrees. Okay, so the, when we have those words, we need to remember what those measurements are. So DEG is 23x minus 3, and um, GEF is 12x plus 8. So 23x minus 3 plus 12x plus 8 is equal to 180, and then you're solving that for x. And then you're just plugging it in. DEG 23 times 5 minus 3 
is 112. GEF is 12 times 5 plus 8 is 68. And DEF, we already know because we used in the problem, which was 180. Um, T, U, W, 5X plus 3. W, U, V, 10X minus 5. And T, V, U, so the whole thing here is um, 17 x minus 16. All right, and then we're just plugging it in. So T U W is 5 times 7 plus 3, which is 38. Oops, sorry, there's a scribble. W U V um, 10 X 10 times 7 minus 5 is 65 and um, 17 times 7 minus 16 is 103 okay now this is where these get a little bit tricky these have words that are dealing with them so we have to um, read these so ECD is six less than five times the measure of BEC, okay? So let's read that again. ECD is six less than five times X. So that means angle BCE is X and angle ECD is six less than five times X. So five X minus six. You are always going to write that number with its variable first, okay? You cannot write six less than five times. That's not the same. Do you notice then here that this is positive and this is negative, okay? So you always wanna make sure that you write it with your variable first and then add or subtract the number that comes after it, okay? And then BCD, so the whole angle here is 162. So x plus 5x minus 6. So we're adding these two angles together is equal to 162. Okay, so BEC, it's x, so it's just 28. And ECD is 5 times 28 minus 6, which is 134. Okay. Last two problems, they're a little bit challenging, but we're gonna use this diagram here to the left to answer the problems. So A, B, F, so I'm gonna use color coding. So A, B, F is here, that's 6X plus 26. Um, e, B, F, E, B, F is here, that's the blue. And A, B, E is the green, okay? So we're gonna add 6x plus 26 plus 2x minus nine is equal to 11x minus 31. This one's kind of hard because you have all these other angles that are here in the picture, um, but you kind of just really need to determine, sorry, I should have underlined this one great. You just gotta kind of determine where they're doing that angle addition, right? So we're saying red plus blue is green um, and that works out. So if we do this, we get, 8x plus 17 and then 3x is equal to 48 yeah x is equal to 16. and then we want to find the measure of abf so abf is plugging into the red so 6 times 16 plus 26 is oops sorry 122 degrees. Um, then I'm gonna just erase these colors because we're moving to the next one. So BD bisects angle CBE, okay? So that means that an angle was cut in half. When you see bisects, that means something was cut in half. So that means CBD is the same measure as DE, DBE, okay? Sorry, I had a call. So we're told that CBD is 3x plus 5, 
and DBE is 7x minus 19. So we're setting those two things equal to each other. All right, then we get 4x is equal to 44, x is equal to 11. Now we need to figure out what a, b, d is. So this is where this other um, information that was given comes into play, okay? So we have b, c, and a, b are perpendicular. So if we remember what perpendicular means, that means 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees here, and we need to figure out what that little blue angle is for CBD. So if we do 3 times 11 plus 25, we get 58. So that's 58. So all we're going to do is 90 plus 58 is equal to 148. And that's it. All right. See you later.